Good morning, Borodar. Thank you very much, uh, Keith and, and Steve. And I am really pleased to be here uh, with you this morning. I know you invited um, my predecessor, Carl Sargent, but as you can see, I'm not him. Um, not at all. Um, but I am really pleased to be here um, as the new Housing Minister. And I know some people have questioned why uh, housing isn't in my title. But if you put everything that I'm responsible for in my title, we'd still be here uh, talking just about my title. But um, I, I think the, the most important thing is that obviously my new portfolio um, and the government will be judged on achievements. And I think that is the message to come uh, from me today about that. And I think, as Keith said, it's really important that then we've now got that link between tackling poverty because we know uh, how important homes are in that um, agenda. So it was really good to see that slide that I just caught where it said housing, health, poverty and regeneration. So you can see how it all fits into my uh, portfolio. And I, I also want to reassure you that housing is absolutely um, at the heart of our programme for government. And it's also at the heart of my commitment to communities and tackling poverty. And for me, when I um, uh, spoke to the First Minister and we went through my responsibilities, everything that I really came into politics for is in that portfolio. I know that um, to the, deliver the changes I want to see uh, in communities right across Wales, all those elements of the portfolio have to contribute fully. And um, so many people have actually contacted me to say that they're really pleased with the way the new portfolio has been put together. So my responsibilities are very wide ranging. They cover three previous uh, ministerial portfolios and that's one of the problems why I wasn't sure if I could come today because you can imagine trying to put in three ministers commitments has been quite difficult for the uh, private office to do. But I thought it was really important that I came even just for a short while today um, to talk about um, housing. Um, alongside housing, um, my responsibilities include programmes such as Communities First um, as well as our regeneration programme, Vibrant and Viable Places, and I've just been lobbied about that, and, and I want to reassure you that that is absolutely as it is. If you've got funding, you know, go away and spend it. I know Andy Lewis is here from Wrexham, from my own constituency, so it's okay, Andy, you can uh, carry on. Um, you may have noticed I'm also responsible for children's issues, so programmes such as um, Flying Start and Families First, and obviously childcare. And so they're all areas which, alongside housing, make people's lives better. Um, and they're all where we have, you know, real great challenges, and I'm obviously very aware of that. Um, I know from my previous ministerial roles um, how important the housing sector is, and my first um, engagement in the portfolio was on Tuesday morning where I spoke at the Care and Repair Conference, and I talked about how housing plays a huge role in helping people continue to live independently in their own homes for as long as possible. And housing needs to absolutely have to be at the heart of the health and social care agenda. And you'll be aware that we have a review of um, our aids and adaptations funding. And the response to that review, I think, will provide a very important um, opportunity to ensure the housing contribution to the challenges of an increasingly um, elderly population are appropriate and targeted. Of course, housing is also about growth and jobs. And that's an essential component of Welsh Government's infrastructure plans. So I want us to maximise the economic as well as social benefits associated with building more homes. And given our housing needs, our commitment to build more homes needs to encompass the supply of market homes as well as the supply of affordable homes. Um, since um, the First Minister came into that position um, just under five years ago, he has made it absolutely clear that the key focus of his government is delivery. And he's reiterated that message to his new ministerial team um, this week and I make no apologies for there being a pretty challenging uh, delivery agenda as far as housing is concerned and of course that agenda now includes the new Housing Act and I want to acknowledge uh, Carl Sargent's achievements in building a degree of political consensus around the main provisions of that Act and I think the news coverage over the summer has highlighted the importance of developing effective tools to ensure adequate standards in the private rented uh, sector for example and given my wider responsibilities for tackling poverty, I am anxious to see real progress made in delivering the new emphasis on preventing homelessness. However, Carl's achievements will have been wasted unless we can now turn the Act's provisions into delivery on the ground. And I'm really encouraged um, but by what I've been told about progress in that regard already. And I know Kerry Breeze, who's somewhere, will be sharing uh, more about that uh, later this morning. 
I want to engage with local authority uh, colleagues and other partners to ensure we can generate a common understanding of all of the delivery challenges that we now face. And legislation, it's a bit like buses, isn't it? We've just had our first housing bill in Wales, and early next year I will be introducing the Renting Home Wales Bill. And I know many of you here have been very involved in that development. The consultation um, is uh, currently um, in process. I'd like you all to take the opportunity, if you haven't done so, to respond to it. I want to hear what you think. I want to listen to what you're saying. I think that's very important for me. And as well as simplifying outdated property law, the proposals in the bill will help to address matters such as antisocial behaviour and will do more to help the victims of domestic violence. And both of these matters I absolutely care passionately about. But of course, my delivery agenda is about much more than legislation. There'll be no lessening of the government's focus on building more homes. Um, the first item of business will be delivering the target of 10,000 affordable homes during the government's term of office. And I know I'm going to receive an update on that number in the next few weeks. Over recent years, the housing sector has developed a number of innovative approaches towards increasing the supply of affordable homes. Registered social landlords have been at the heart of this. And I want to see even more innovation because I want to maximise the housing sector's contribution to my uh, wider responsibilities for communities in tackling poverty. We must also maintain our commitment to tenants in the existing housing stock. There's no slacking as we move towards the 2020 target for implementing the Welsh Housing Quality Standard. I also want to mention some of the challenges that we'll be facing together over the coming months. Obviously, massive squeeze on our budgets. That's not going to go away. You wouldn't expect me to say anything different. And that's not just in housing, but right across my portfolio and right across government. And we are going to have to take some tough choices. We are taking tough decisions on our priorities. This government's budget will be £1.7 billion less over this term. I'm very concerned about the impact of welfare reform on our poorest communities. And clearly, housing organisations play a vital role in helping us mitigate the worst effect of these reforms. Looking at my previous portfolio, you wouldn't expect me not to mention our programme of local government reform. And, you know, having been in that portfolio, I know there is no way things can stay the same. We have to have change. So my message to you is that local authority reform is coming. It is going to happen. And I think the important thing is that we ensure that housing issues are considered fully as part of those reforms. Again, I will want to engage with local authority leaders on this issue. However, I think it's really important I also discuss these changes with our RSLs and with third sector organisations who obviously deliver so many of our housing services. And I'm sure you'll all have lots to say about delivery on the ground. So thank you very much for uh, inviting me. I look forward to working with you over the coming months. Um, if anybody wants to meet me or you want me to come out on visits, please just email. Uh, we'll fit in what we can. Um, I just want to assure you that housing remains absolutely um, at the heart of this Welsh Government. I hope you have a very productive day. I'm really sorry I can't stay any longer, but I'm sure officials will uh, bring me up to date. Thank you very much. Thank you.